Thank you, Professor Zara, for a very kind introduction. And it's a real pleasure to be here today. It's my first uh, IC Sports conference. And uh, I'm really impressed by you know, the diversity of uh, the attendance um, and uh, how much advanced technology um, there is in this Congress. Uh, you know, ma many of the, to the, the talks are on innovative technologies, and this is very interesting. Um, as the title of my presentation says, I will be speaking about um, muscle loss and weakness in old age. I, I will be um, discussing why we lose muscle mass with old age, why we become weak, and whether we can reverse this uh, with exercise. But first of all, let me um, discuss how aging was perceived 2,000 years ago. Well, the loss of uh, flesh and vigor has been a preoccupation of mankind since early Greek and ancient times. The Greeks abhorred aging. For them, aging was uh, something uh, terrible that um, led to the corruption of the human body, to, the, to a loss of its vigor and beauty. And so they really treated the age, aging as a terrible event. Galen, um, in Roman times, view aging more positively. Didn't treat it as a, as a terrible event, but as an illness. But as an illness, he thought that it could be ameliorated through exercise and nutrition. Cicero, instead, again in Roman times, we're talking about 2,000 years ago, more than 2,000 years ago, Cicero um, had a much more positive approach to it. He thought that every stage in life had some positive aspects. And at any stage, you, could, you should enjoy your, um, your uh, age. Um, at, at the same time, engage in, in a healthy lifestyle, lifestyle uh, and never look back resenting the, the gone years. In fact, this is what Chichiro wrote about aging in his famous treatise, Katumayo de Sinectute. He said, I grant that, that old age is devoid of any strength. None is even expected of it. By laws and custom, men of my own age are exempt from those public services that cannot be rendered without body strength. In fact, he was complaining, retiring. This is, is very um, a topical subject. But he said later on that it is our duty to resist old age, to compensate